Your Auto Light dealer presents your favorite friend from Gasoline Alley. <laughs> Hold it, Wilmer. Hold it till I get this phone. Okay, Skazak. Wallet and Bobble Garage. She's at Wallet speaking. What's that? Yes, sir. We can fix it. We can fix anything on four wheels. Sure. We'll be waiting for you right here in Gasoline Alley. <laughs> Yes, it's Gasoline Alley, the comic strip that's a favorite in more than a hundred great newspapers. In this episode, The Adventure of the Musician's Ignition, the very slippery Mr. Tiggers comes in with a very strange request that his auto lights be wired for sound. A first, the word from the friendly auto light dealer in your own hometown. <laughs> Gasoline Alley. A new construction firm, the Cutler Company, has just moved to town, and of course all the garages are trying to get the Cutler repair work. Well, this morning Wilmer has not yet shown up for work, and Skeezix has just entered the garage office. When... Wallet and Bobble Garage. He's at Wallet speaking. Good morning. Mr. Wallet, this is Mr. Cutler of the Cutler Construction Company. Oh, yes, Mr. Cutler. We wrote you a letter about doing your repair work. So did all the other garages. Well, we think we do good work, Mr. Cutler. Yes, and... I've heard that you and your partner do the best ignition work in town. Oh, thanks. Then can well, we... Well, I'm seeing several people, Mr. Wallet. If you'll be available, I'll come by at three this afternoon. Oh, we'll be here, Mr. Cutler. Very well. I'll let you know then whether you get the job. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Cutler. Goodbye. Hello, Jesus. Wilmer, that was Mr. Cutler on the phone. Oh, I heard. Boy, am I mad. But he may give us his work. He's coming by at three. Well, you better talk to him, Jesus. I'm so mad I could chew a horse show and spit nails. Wilmer, what's wrong? That's that old maid voice. She's to live next door. Wilmer, have you been fighting with Miss Arbutus Fay again? You're darn right I have. Last night she kept me up till all hours with one of her pupils. A wounded baritone. What do you mean, a wounded baritone? From the way he sings, she must have been torturing him. Gloria, Gloria, don't sit on the floor. Oh, oh, Wilmer, when will you learn that you can't get anywhere by fighting with people? Well, what would you have me do? Tell Miss Arbutus I love to hear her torture that baritone? Yes, I would. Are you out of your mind, Jesus? I mean it. If you just smile at people and say nice things to them, you'll get much further than you will by fighting. Now, wait a minute. Are you serious? Well, of course I'm serious. Look, Wilmer, why don't you try it just for one day? Come on. What do you say? You mean, you mean smile and say nice things no matter who it is? That's right. Come on. Promise me you'll try it. All right, Jesus. If you say so. Good. You'll see it work. Oh, we've got a customer. That's no customer. That's that crook. Is that long Remember, gun? Wilmer, smile. Say nice things. What? Oh, okay, but this is gonna hurt. Hello, Chiggers, old friend. You're looking good today. Huh? I say you look fine. Wonderful. I hope you're well. You hope I'm well? Excuse me. Does Wilmer feel all right? Well, of course he does, Chiggers. And something's mighty funny. Me and Wilmer always start scrapping the minute we see each other. Well, now, now. But, hey, Chiggers, old friend. But what can we do for you, pal? Whatever it is, we'll be glad to do it. Well, well, this is even better than I hoped for. Just tell us what we can do for you, friend Chiggers. <laughs> well, Wilmer, since you put it that way, I, um, I believe you and Skeezix are the best ignition men in town. Wow. And, uh, Oh, my God, Skeezix, the system does work at that. Uh, uh, yes, Skeezix. And uh, I wonder if you can fix my light so that when I turn them on, the horn will blow. Oh, Skeezix, that's crazy. We wouldn't do a thing like that to a car in a fist. You're up to one of your low tricks. Skeezix, wait a minute. Smile, say nice things, remember. But, Wilmer, you know Chiggers. He's got something up his sleeve. Why should he want of us Of course, to... if you fellas don't know how to do it, I know somebody who can. Well, we'll be glad to do it for you, friend Chiggers. There's a few wiring adjustments. We can do it in no time. Come on. Guess I got myself into this. Well, here comes Miss Arbutus Fay. 
Yeah. Yeah. That corny old maid music teacher. <laughs> Looks like her uh, radiator's about to blow up. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Arbute. It's my, but you're looking lovely today. Just lovely. I want you to know I wouldn't have been in your room, Bobble, if I hadn't been afraid my car would burn up in... What did you just say? Oh, I said I've never seen you look so lovely. My, you brighten the whole day for me. Are you talking about me, Wilma? After fighting with you about my boy's shooting? Me fight with you, Miss Arbutus? Why, that baritone over your house last night, he's got the best voice I ever heard, bar none. Yes, yes, yes. That's my new pupil, Archibald. He's so handsome. I mean, talented. He's just lucky to have such a good teacher, Miss Arbutus. Not only good, but good looking. Why, Wilmer, well, maybe you're not as bad as I thought. Now, you can fix my car. Well, we're doing a job for Tiggers right now, fixing his car so his horn blows when he turns on the light. My, that's, that's so strange, isn't it? The customer is always right in this garage. French Chiggers want it that way. Uh, but if um, if you'll leave your car here, we'll gladly work on it. Uh, we don't get many glamour girl customers, you know. Why, Wilma, you're sweet. I'll come back this afternoon. Goodbye, Wilma. Well, you have changed, Wilma. Glamour girl, of all the soft soap. Okay, I've switched your wiring, Chiggers. Turn on your lights and let's see if the horn blows. Okay, Stevie. Yes, yes, that was just what I wanted. <laughs> well, now I'm off to show Mr. Cutler the kind of work you boys do. What do you mean by that, Chigger? <laughs> friend of mine owns a garage. I get a rake off if he gets Mr. Cutler's repair work. <laughs> Looks like this job shows it up for me, all right. We're going to get Cutler's repair work, Chigger. Not when Mr. Cutler sees the job you get on his car. Chigger, you mean this is Mr. Cutler's car? He wrecked, friend Wilmer. And you won't get Mr. Cutler's work. No sorry. Not when I show him how you mix things up so the horn blows when you turn on the light. <laughs> well, so long, Wilmer, my smiling friend. <laughs> Back to Gasoline Alley and the adventure of the musician's ignition. Because Wilmer decided to try smiles and kind words, he has become friends with the boy teacher who lives next door. But this same friendly spirit allowed the boys to be tricked by their arch enemy, Tiggers. And at the moment, Wilmer's saying, Why did I ever listen to you, Jesus? Smiles and kind words pay big dividends, you tell me. And so when I tried, what happened? Oh, I know, Wilmer. Well, it's three o'clock. I suppose Mr. Cutler won't even come to see us. Well, why should he after the way Chiggers tricked us into fixing his lights or the horn blows? Just the same, Wilmer. We were honest and we were courteous. Now we lost the cut. Well, I still think we were right. Wait a minute. Here comes Mr. Cutler now. Yeah, and he's got that Chiggers with him. Maybe he'll give us his work after all. I want to just stop in a race. Came for what we said it was like. Oh, that Chiggers. Hello, Jesus, and, uh, <laughs> friend Wilmer. Jiggers, you low rat, you There, know. Mr. Cutler, just as I told you. I ought to mop up the floor with you, you crook. They not only do bad work, they insult the customers, you see? Yes, I see. Uh, look, Mr. Cutler, I can explain... I'm sorry, Mr. Wallen, but after the bungling job you did on my car, I'm afraid but I... But that crook Jiggers asked us to fix the lights on that way. He said it was his car. You see, Mr. Cutler, I told you they'd give you a cock and bull story like that. Now, didn't I? Yes, you did. No, Mr. Wallet, I'm afraid I can't give you my repair work. But Wilmer's telling the truth, Mr. Cutler. Look, ask anybody in town about our reputation. I did that. I was told you were the best ignition men in town. But after all, you fixed my car so the horn blows when the lights are turned on. Uh, what am I to think? That's right, we did. But that right there said to me, Tiggers told us to do it. He wanted it that way. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Miss Arbutus, it's ready. Wait a minute. Mr. Cutler, Miss Arbutus is a witness. Huh? Miss Arbutus, this is Mr. Cutler. Oh, I'm a friend of Miss Cutler, Steve. Uh, yeah. Ask Miss Arbutus, Mr. Cutler. She can tell you Tigger's asked us to fix your car like it is. Oh, Mr. Cutler, this is too much. 
What's too much to do? These fellas thinking you're fool enough to take the word of a scrawny old maid voice teacher. Wait! What did you call her, Tiggy? A scrawny old maid voice teacher. Goes around screeching and top of her lungs like a fool now. I and, see. And you can't believe a word she says. <clears throat> Mr. Cutler, you hit me. Yes, I did, you cook. Oh! Oh, Mr. Cutler, you... And here's another one, you rat. Oh, stop it. Help, fellas. He's telling me. Help. Get me out of here. Help. Well, I don't get it, but I'm for it. Oh, you're so strong and handsome, Archibald. Oh, it was nothing, my dear Archibald. <laughs> nothing. Archibald. For we adore... Is he? Well, man, this is Archibald Cutler, the baritone whose voice you love so much. But I've got bad news for you, Wilma. You, uh, uh, you have? Yes, I have. Just when you and I have become such good friends and neighbors, I'm moving away. You see, at lunch today, Archibald asked me to marry him. Whoa, gee, that's great. Congratulations. But, 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 but Mr. Cutler's singing. I mean... Oh, uh, Wilma means he's been hearing your wonderful baritone voice, dear Archibald. Yes, but he won't have to, Mrs. Arbuckle. I'll see to that. Yeah, he'll see to that. Uh, you will? Oh, you're so sweet, Archibald. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Cutler? Well, after all, if you and Steve are going to be doing my repair work, I'll have to keep you happy, Wilma. <laughs> Come into this office with me, and I'll sing you a few of my best numbers. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Your Gasoline Alley friends will be back in just a moment. Now a word from your own Autolite dealer. Now a word about the next adventure in Gasoline Alley. Here's Jesus. Wilmer, what's the matter? You look like you've just seen a ghost. What happened? What happened? Jesus, the garage, the garage. Well, what's the matter with it? What is in the matter with it? Tint curtains in the windows, pink walls. I didn't even recognize the grease rack. It's been redecorated. The place smells like a beauty park. Oh, didn't you know, Wilmer? Jessica and Nina decided to take over the place and clean it up. They say the floor's so clean you could eat off it now. Who ever ate off a garage floor? Our wives have ruined us, ruined us, do you hear? Thank <laughs> you.